Hey guys, episode 87 of the Daily BE. And as you can tell, we are already getting into the episode. I got a handful of very colorful bow ties to show you today. And the reason I have this many, we have an event tomorrow night and we are gonna teach a room full of people how to tie bow ties. So, truth be told, I only own one bow tie. And the remainder here are on loan from uh, one of our in-house bow tie guys on the BE team. And as you can tell, or maybe you can, but we'll point it out here, we have a couple of different styles, right? If you look at the end of contour, we have a couple that are straight and a couple that are pointed. So what's on the table here, these two different styles, are really what I would consider to be kind of the leading styles today in menswear. There are overall about five different types of bow tie uh, contours. And each one has a different purpose, but primarily these are very popular. So you have the diamond point, sometimes called the, uh, the diamond tip. And then you have the bat wing, which is sometimes called the uh, slim or straight bow tie. And the difference here, you know, first looking at the, uh, the slim or straight here, the bow tie, or the, the bat wing, excuse me, is that this is almost kind of like a shortened version of the classic butterfly. The butterfly is also going to be straight but it's usually quite a bit bigger. And so this being just a little bit slimmer kind of relates well to what we see in menswear today where, for instance, neckwear is kind of getting slimmer, lapels have gotten slimmer, but they're also kind of getting wider, which is a different topic. But the point is that you know these have kind of mirrored what's happening in neckwear, where things have gotten a little bit slimmer and therefore kind of having a little bit more of a modern and sophisticated look. So these are very common. The, uh, the bat wing style. And now in contrast is the diamond tip, which is a little bit edgier, a little bit more, you know, has a little more pizzazz. It's uh, just kind of a fun design. I believe in some of the most recent James Bond movies with Daniel Craig, he was wearing a diamond tip uh, black bow tie uh, with his tuxedo. So we certainly see both. And they're not too far off, right? If I were to kind of lay one on top of the other, you know, the, uh, the width here is relatively close. So it's not so much the width, it's just a very subtle feature on the end. And one that depending who you're around, they may or may not pick up on it. But it's relatively, well, it's subtle, right? Overall though, we can still have all different kinds of colors. There's no reason you can't have a plaid in, obviously, the slimmer straight uh, bat wing style here. So it really just depends what you want. Now a quick note on what might be best for you, and I think we'll do more about this in the future, but the kind of, just start the conversation. You know, if you have kind of a larger or a round face or you have kind of a, a larger neckline, you can be better off uh, oftentimes with a much larger bow tie just because the proportions still work out. So you're much more a classic style. I wish I had something to show you. But uh, again, a classic butterfly is going to be a little bit wider here on the end. And guys with uh, bigger faces can usually pull it off well. All of these, whether it's a diamond tip or whether it's the bat wing, I really think most guys can pull these off. It's a pretty uh, go-to bow tie style, either one of these. And so from there, it's just a matter of color. And of course, if you want to kind of stay relatively conservative, you can have something like a gray. There's some cool print colors out there, tons of stuff out there to choose from. And of course, kind of a little bit more bold, you can pick some plaids and some different uh, fun patterns. But that's kind of the, um, the, the, you know, the gist of this. I just wanted to kind of give a, a couple examples while I had them of a diamond point or a diamond tip, and then the uh, also very common, the bat wing style. Kind of a slimmer version on a much more traditional butterfly style. So there you have it. Uh, questions, comments, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what is your favorite bow tie? And have you worn one? Because let's be honest, bow ties are rarely seen. There aren't a whole lot of guys that wear bow ties. And like we always say on the BE channel, that um, just because no one's doing it means that that could be a great opportunity for you. All right, more to come. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you soon.